Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's topic, we are going to talk about old money versus new money. If you guys don't know me yet, my name is Sigrid, or you may also call me Ziggy. We talk about luxury, real estate, travel, finance, and minimalism in this channel. So hit the subscribe button and so we can go ahead and get started. I wanted to talk to you guys about um, old money versus new money because you know I've seen so many people kind of you know talk about it but don't really sort of explain what old money versus what new money is and so hence you know I'm using my handbags as an example because I call the classic medium flap Chanel handbag the old money because this bag has been here for a very very quite a long time and then obviously you know we have the uh, uh, cocoa handle which has been just a couple years old I think um, they started rolling out the uh, Chanel cocoa handles back in 2015 so I kind of consider it new money and this one as old money because it's been here for quite a bit so anyway back to our topic um, so what do you consider old money and what do you consider um, new money so old money is basically those people who have wealth from many many generations right so um, essentially those are the people who have had their wealth passed down from you know many many generations usually uh five seven generations you know that type of thing and in america you know we have for example you know the murdoch family or the uh you know the the wealthy families back in the industrial age where they started you know um, uh, building their wealth uh, back then and what happens now is that they're passing down all of their wealth through their heirs you know and all that stuff too and money on the other hand you guys are just the ones that are first generation second generation money where you know they're working their um, ass off essentially and then you know uh, uh, getting their status in um, society and becoming you know the first generation who have built wealth so and hence what we call them the new money right so examples of new money would probably be like Elon Musk you know um, uh, Mark Zuckerberg they're new money because they just became instant uh, millionaires and billionaires because of technology and you know all of their hard work that they put together and all that stuff so we can consider them um, new money and then obviously you know we have also the old money that I talked about earlier so really you know we're talking about what's the difference between old money and new money um, old money um, they are more careful with their money um, and they are proud of passing down you know things to the next generation so you know uh, these people are the people who've been wealthy for quite a bit and people who actually have you know grown up uh, being wealthy essentially and do not know life other than being wealthy so you know they're more careful with their with their with their wealth and you know it's basically a training that you know their parents have passed down one over the other and over the other and over the other and so their traits essentially is that you know they tend to have more money and save a whole lot of more of their money and um, they're uh, conscious with their spending essentially you know because they wanted to pass down more of this money into the next generation and hence you know as you guys know also um, old money with uh, for example a good example is that with their furniture and stuff like that you know there are furnitures um, jewelries all that stuff that they pass from one generation to the other and um, that's just really how you know old money is all the while new money in the other hand you know um, they just literally you know became wealthy so what are their spending habits right so because they are they just became wealthy you know and they worked hard for it they tend to be a little bit more sort of like uh, not flashy but kind of like you know uh, out there to kind of show the world that hey you know I finally made it hey you know I have now money to show that I, I made it right because it's the first generational wealth that they currently have so they tend to be more you know um, 
uh, open to the public, more social, that type of thing, and kind of sharing essentially, you know, or not bragging or anything like that, but kind of sharing what they have and what they have sort of accomplished, I suppose, to like the old money, right? But anyway, you know, I don't, you know, I mean, they, these two uh, types of social classes are the same way, you know, either way, they are both, they are both wealthy individuals right so it doesn't really matter if you're old money or your new money um it's they're both millionaires so as long to me as long as you are acquiring your wealth through you know a very decent manner and uh you know it's not it's not through corruption it's not through um, you know, stepping on other people's toes and stuff like that, and you're making a living, essentially um, becoming a millionaire, then, you know, I think that um, it doesn't really matter where whether you're coming from an old money fa family where you have grown with lots of uh, wealth uh, surrounding you or, you know, new money, and you're just essentially uh, working hard, and it's the first time that you're actually having all of the many good things in life. And, you know, that's just how it is. And again, you know, hey, um, old money that we're talking about now, during their time, think about it this, guys. Uh, the, uh, think about it this way, you guys. So at the time when they were also building their wealth, they're also called the new money, right? So in the industrial uh, ages back then, they now they are called uh, new money because they just, they just uh, you know, work their ass off too and, you know, now they have uh, money to spare and, you know, they're bringing in all of that money. So essentially they were the, the old money now are the new money before. <laughs> so that's just how the circle of life goes, right? So anyway, you know, um, uh, to me, I will tell you guys, you know, I came from a upper middle class family in the Philippines and, um, you know, um, I wouldn't consider myself uh, old money or anything like that, right? Um, I've earned my way up uh, and also I've earned, you know, my money um, through a decent living, living uh, same uh, with my husband and everything. So I consider myself new money, um, no no sugar coating about that. And, uh, uh, you know, I mean, I, I buy the things that I like, I buy the things that I need, I buy the things that uh, makes me happy. And I think that's really what is more important for everybody is just, you know, you buy the things that makes you happy. And, um, you know, you you also uh, uh, make sure that, you know, you're, you're making a, a room for blessings in your life, right? So we look at, we look at richness, we look at, uh, um, millionaire status as a blessing and so you know we have to uh, make room for it and grow for it and go from there but again you know um, the reality is you guys you know again I, I just wanted to point that out it doesn't matter if you're old money or your new money they might have two different traits but essentially you know both wealthy types of individuals and you know can't complain about that so anyway you know are you aiming to be a millionaire are you aiming to be a billionaire you know what status are you aiming for um i know that our society sometimes we kind of talk about these things and um you know to me uh, aiming to be a billionaire probably i don't know you know hey maybe it's gonna happen right we don't know <laughs> but Essentially, you know, we're just talking about wealth here and kind of, you know, asking you guys' thoughts are um, how did you make your first million if you're a millionaire, um, you know, um, watching my video right now? How did you make your first million? And if you're an old money type of person, I don't know that you guys even, you know, would even would even consider watching my video if you're an old money you're probably thinking like, oh yeah, her videos are ridiculous. <laughs> but anyway, you know, just kind of putting into context what I think uh, I know and my thought process is and stuff like that. And I just kind of wanted to share with you guys. So again, you know, old money and new money. Anyway, uh, that's all that I have for today, um, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, you know, I'd like to thank you all for watching my videos and uh, you know, um, feel free to watch some of my other videos too as well regarding handbags, uh, real estate, travel, and also finances. Thanks again for watching everybody. And until next time, I will talk to you later and bye for now.